protocol? What is a gossip protocol? So uh, we saw that uh, in, in Cassandra is, is, is a peer-to-peer -peer communication or peer-to-peer -peer optics basically. Each node talks to other nodes to find out information about the state of other nodes. And uh, so if you look at uh, this kind of the, the picture, if every node has to talk, to talk to every other node, then it would be a lot of, lot of commu network communication that needs to happen. It might also, if, depending on how big your cluster is, it might also clog your cluster. That's the, the first natural question that will come to your mind. But uh, Cassandra has an intelligent solution um, for the cost protocol. What it does is uh, intercommunication happens between uh, one node to other. But what it does is if, say, the node uh, marked in, in the red circle communicates to the node on, on, on the right, uh, and it, it, it gets its, its information about this node. But say this node had already contacted the, the node below and has its information. What it would do is when it passes its information about itself, it also passes information about the other nodes it has communicated to. So that's why it's called as a gossip. So um, the, the node that you talk to not only talks about itself, but it also talks about the, the nodes that it, it has communicated to uh, in, in, um, in recent past about the state of, of the nodes. That's why it's, uh, it's not only information about yourself, but it's also information about others. And that's why it's called as, as, as a gossip protocol. Uh, interestingly, what happens is it makes your network communication about this, maintaining the state information very, very efficient. You, your network clock is reduced and uh, it keeps uh, more information, makes your information gathering very, very efficient. Now what happens is, say um, I had com communicated with this node, but this uh, node had communicated with this node maybe in the, in the last hour, and uh, I have also communicated with this node, but this node had communicated with the node on, on, on the right in like last five minutes, so it has the most updated information. What would happen is, once this node receives information about this node from both the channels, it will look at in, in a time version fashion. Whichever uh, a node would give you the latest information about that particular node will be overwritten. So uh, this way um, you'll always have the latest information about the state of any node. Um, in, in effect, this, this is uh, the very general of how a GOS protocol happens. Now we'll see into details of uh, exactly how this thing happens. So um, as, as we saw, uh, a, a node can communicate uh, to, say, a, another random node in, in, uh, in the cluster. Um, uh, last time we covered that your Cassandra YML has a list of all the nodes, um, preferably should have. It's not necessary to have all the nodes in the cluster, but it's a very good idea to have all the nodes uh, listed in the Cassandra YML uh, so that it's able to communicate to all the nodes if, if required. Uh, so in the example, it communicates to this particular node, it, it will query it about its information. So what it will do is it will basically send a, a message to saying that give me the state, uh, what's your state? Uh, and this node, uh, if it has communicated with, with other nodes, it will carry all the information and send it back saying that, okay, this is my state, this is the row keys that I have, and, and I'm, I'm basically saying I'm alive right now. Um, these are other examples of how a uh, random communication would happen, uh, how the, the state of other two um, in, information would be sent back. Um, let's jump to the, the failure detection kind of thing in the, in the, in the GOSP protocol. So how does the, the failure detection happen? Um, basically, uh, uh, oops, there's a message name called as Gossip Digest Sync. It's a very similar protocol to a TCP. Uh, for people who know the TCP protocol in depth, but even if you don't know, uh, this is uh, it basically sends a message called a syn message, S Y N. Um, so a gossip digest syn message is sent from one node to other node. Once uh, the other node receives this kind of message, it sends a, a, a message back to that uh, requesting node called as ACK. It's basically short form for acknowledgement. So it gives an acknowledgement message back saying that. Say, uh, hey, I'm alive, and uh, then uh, the the first requesting message sends an acknowledgement back saying that okay, I received that uh, that message. 
So this is uh, something called as a three-way handshake uh, uh, protocol, very similar to a TCP protocol. Uh, this way, um, Cassandra nodes are able to understand that the other nodes in the, in the cluster are alive. Now, what, ha what happens when a, a node goes down? So uh, suppose a, a sync message is sent to a node, a node is down, it won't receive any act message back. So if no act message is received back, then it knows that uh, it, it's down. It might try again after a few milliseconds to see if the, the node is back, but even if that's not the case, then it will mark that node as down. Now since it has marked the node 6 as down, and say suppose this was node 5, say node 1 communicated with to node 5 via GOS protocol and, uh, asking its state. Uh, what node 5 would return to node 1 is uh, its state, what it state it will send its acknowledgement but it will also send out a message saying that the node 6 is down so node 1 uh, on the cluster would know that the node 6 is down similarly other um, nodes in the cluster would slowly start um, getting this information that the node 6 is down for a particular point of time and even if this node is down the the uh, nodes from within the cluster would still keep on periodically pinging uh, node 6 to see if they, if they are back up. So that's that's how uh, failure detection happens in the POS protocol. POS protocol is uh, a very kind of a, a, a simple kind of a, a protocol if you look at. It's not that complex. But the main thing is in the POS protocol you not only send information about yourself but you also send information about others uh, uh, in the network. That's why it's called a 